Hello, I'm Wander001, and this is my revisit of the Trident AG series for the Moto X 2014 model or the Moto X second generation. I very rarely do a revisit of a product uh, unless requested or there's a specific reason that I would go back and revisit it. Normally when I do a review, I'm very thorough. I test the product out for quite a long time and the review that I produce is a well informed and in-depth review. Uh, I did that with the Trident Aegis series case here, but I've got some extra data points that I can throw in because, well, I have been continuously using this product on a daily basis, and some of the uh, items that I discussed in my original review here have come to fruition. So I'm gonna talk about those right now. First being, I do remember when I talked about this originally, I said I had some concerns, and let me bring that into focus, that there was a fabrication line or defect up here along the lip on this particular case. Now, I did at one time drop this case, and let me see if I can bring that into focus a little better. Uh, now, it did take out a chunk and kind of work its way along that fracture line or that defect in the material. What you may be asking yourself is, clearly that must have dropped on concrete, dropped off a couch arm to a carpeted floor and took that chunk out because of that defect in the plastic. So that's, that's problem number one. Problem number two is the side of the case here. I do remember pointing out that it looked like it was a weak portion of the case design because it's just this thin piece of plastic and then the rubber was going to fit in between that. And it's really just for stylization. If they just had it clipped like they have on this side, it wouldn't have been a problem. But they decided that they wanted to have this plastic strip here that also exists on the bottom as a stylization point. So what happened was originally this particular item, this particular area cracked and I didn't notice it cracked and I took it out of my pocket and it got snagged on the way out, which is why it's kind of in this sticking up position. Now I have put electrical tape on it to keep it down before, but I really don't want to have to do that. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, so that's, that's defect number two. The one good talking point that I will mention is right there. It might be a little difficult to see. Let's see if I can bring it into focus and get the mirror or the window out of the way there. That is a, a nick on the front, but it was absorbed by the plastic shield. So as far as I know, it did not actually crack the screen in any way, shape or form. Now, I really hate putting these on, so I never bothered to take it off to take a look, but it does look like it managed to save my screen. So I'm very happy with that. Now, you may be wondering why this is a revisit. Well, I went out and bought another Trident AG series case for this particular phone. Now, you may ask yourself, why did I do that when clearly there has been some problems with the original case? Well, one, my preferred case maker, Otterbox, does not make a case for the, uh, for the Moto X second gen here. Now, I do realize at the time of filming this, this is a two-year-old phone and I could see why they wouldn't do that. However, Otterbox never made a case for this phone, the commuter case, let me rephrase that. They do make the Defender series case, but I do not want a Defender series case. You may ask yourself, well, you've dropped it a couple of times and you chipped the screen possibly. Why wouldn't you want a Defender series case? Well, I like a commuter style. So just, you know, the two part hard backing and then a rubber shock absorber to, uh, you know, slide in and out of my pocket easier. It makes the phone less bulky. It's my preferred style. Now, there are other manufacturers out there who make a similarly styled case. However, and this is another big point for me, I need to have these port covers. Because of what I do uh, at my night job, I get around dust and dirt and I need to have those ports covered or else they're gonna get really bad really quickly. So, as I said, I did go out and buy another case, which I will be putting on and adding into the review so you could see uh, one, make sure that it didn't actually chip my screen here, but I'll do that off camera because I hate doing these. And then I will put the case on and show you what it looks like. Now, I will state, 
And the reason I mentioned before that it was probably a manufacturer defect in that corner, if we look at this one, that line that I mentioned earlier and the fracture point, which is why that chip was so big, is not present on this particular case, which is why I think it is a manufacturer defect as opposed to the case itself. I still have concerns about this little flimsy piece of uh, plastic because I cannot think for the life of me why that would have cracked. Do I grab the phone there? Maybe and possibly pulling it in and out of my pocket if that's where my thumb rests. And I haven't been able to test this because this is getting in my way now, so I'm making sure I don't grab it there. But if this is where my thumb rests, when I pull this in and out of my pocket, maybe I weakened it to the point where it cracked at one point, but then you get back to the, you're holding it wrong. And really, in my opinion, it's just a design defect. I don't need this piece of plastic here. Just make these clips here and here and here bigger to keep the rubber in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the time, switch them up, show you what the final product looks like, see if I actually chip my screen or if the screen protector that came with it helped save it and uh, give you my final thoughts. Okay, and here we have it. This is the final transition. So this is the new case. Here is my old case with all its dust and so forth. Uh, again, coming back up, we can see the, what I'm going to call manufacturer defect on this particular one. There we go. And the crack that turned into a little more uh, on this side. So, like I said, I would show you how it looks. So the screen protector, that's a little bit of dust. I can never get these on without at least an air bubble somewhere. I lucked out with the previous screen that I put on and only had a very, very small, small one that was not noticeable. Now, I'm trying to see if the camera will actually pick this up, but right, wait for that to go off. Come on. Right there. That's not an air bubble and that's not a piece of dust. That actually is a very, very small nick in the screen. Now, as I said before, it did take a gouge to the screen, which the screen protector itself did absorb the majority of. So I'm actually happy that I came away as well as I did because that could have been a total screen crack. So a small, small, small little micro abrasion, I'll call it, um, which is just about unnoticeable. Like you see the dust in the screen rather than seeing the, the nick up there. And since I got the new screen protector on, the sliding over it, uh, it's not noticeable in any way, shape or form. So while I would have preferred uh, an OtterBox commuter case, I'm gonna give the Trident Aegis case another go, hoping that it was just a really bad manufacturer defect that caused all of those problems. Uh, <laughs> can't say how much longer I'll have the Moto X 2014 model as I'm coming up on two years of having the phone and might be looking to upgrade. But for what I'm looking for case-wise, right now the Trident Aegis is still the only case that fits all the qualifications that I want. So again, it wasn't a bad case while I had it and those few problems. So if you have the Moto X 2014 or are thinking about getting the Moto X 2014 and you're looking for the commuter style case with the covers, or again, I linked before uh, the original review of this that specifies all the things that I was looking for. If you're looking for a case like that, this still might be a option for you. Just take in mind the caveat that this is a revisit about a year and a half later for this particular case. So I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.